smart it is. Oh my god, no, just order, just order. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, guys, so. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of Brian and Beijing. If you have not met me, my name is Brian and I'm a third year business student here at Peking University in China. For my second vlog, I wanted to show a day in my life as a Peking University student. I want to bring you guys to show you what classes are like and even the meal times here on campus. I've seen many day in my life vlogs and I'm hoping to make this as realistic as possible. So I chose a Tuesday. A Tuesday is actually my most busy day because I have four classes. Interestingly, it also rained on the day that I filmed. And that's interesting because it doesn't really rain here in Beijing during spring. But that being said, here's a realistic attempt of a day in my life as a Peking University student. Let's go. Alright, so we are on our way to grabbing breakfast and I have Shoko with me! <laughs> so yeah, so both Shoko and I signed up for an 8 a.m. physical <laughs> education <laughs> class. Uh, PE. PE, yeah, it is not actually a requirement for us, but uh, yeah, we just decided to sign up for it to see how like, a local class is like. So it is at 8 and we are going to the canteen to grab breakfast at 7. So yeah, let's go! <laughs> we just got to school and the whole campus is super empty because no one is up so early and not many people have. 8 a.m. classes, so yeah, let's go. Alright, so we just got our food and we are going to have our breakfast now. Oh. <laughs> is it? 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 Is basketball court in school so basically it's just uh, the coach come down and it'll be in a two-hour class just to teach us like the basics and the fundamentals of uh, of the sport and then we'll probably play a game and we have warm-ups and we also have drills and then we'll probably play a few rounds of the game so it's actually really quite fun it's all in Chinese though but I think thankfully for sports uh, as long as I can see the movement I can just follow follow along so yeah let's let's go So I just ended a basketball class. Uh, I'm gonna get changed. You know, uh, I'm gonna get changed out of my my PE attire, and I just ordered coffee. And I'm on the way to uh, Mellower Cafe to collect my coffee. So I think in in, in China, a um, cool thing is that uh, sorry, I don't know. I think in China, a cool thing is actually you can pre-order your coffee on on WeChat, and then you can pay using your wasting pay. And that allows you to pre-order your stuff and they can make it on the spot and when your coffee's ready, you just go down, they generate a QR code and all you got to do is just to scan and collect and then you can collect your coffee. So I think it's a really seamless transaction that makes use of their fintech and their 
and a really good uh, payment system. So I think it's really great. Uh, Mellow Coffee is, in my opinion, one of the best coffees on campus. So I really enjoyed it because it's not too sweet and like, you can actually taste uh, the coffee and it keeps, keeps me awake. So I think that's like the most important thing. And yeah, so class ended early because uh, it started to drizzle a bit and it's a bit dangerous to play basketball in the rain. So uh, the, the instructor ended class earlier. So now I have time to just go and collect my coffee and go on to my next class early. So I'll see you guys. Alright, so I just picked up my coffee and I am going to walk to class. So class is actually in the new business building that is uh, quite a walk, quite a distance uh, from the main gate and from the coffee place. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a really nice um, building where the classrooms are really very modern, equipped with all the uh, microphones and the necessary tech to do hybrid, class hybrid classrooms. And yeah, so uh, classes all the way from 10 with a short lunch break and then all the way until uh, 4.30 today. So uh, let's, let's go, bring you guys along. Today we're not going to directly introduce this thing to you, but we're asking GPT itself to introduce you. Since the technology is basically based upon the work of other people, second, it needs low soil depletion compared to. They also estimate that there will be a commercial future power, future power plant like in the future. Okay, so, hello everyone, my name is Katie Lee, and it's an honor to be here. And we were named as the top 10 new brands in Beijing by Beijing Government. We just ended class, basically it's raining, we just ended class and we are on the way to a nearby canteen uh, for lunch. Uh, yeah, we had a guest speaker so uh, class overran by a bit but we are heading towards a nearby canteen. Usually we would want to go to somewhere further, the nicer canteens are actually in the centre of campus but because of the time constraint we only have like an hour for lunch and because it's raining we decided to go to the canteen nearby. Chinese class and we are going back to campus. Uh, sorry, no, we're going back to hostel in the rain. It's uh, very rare that it rains in, in Beijing. Yeah. So <laughs> none of us are prepared, so Patricia brought an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, guys, made to find an umbrella, it will arrive in 30 minutes. So. Okay, so I'm, I'm back in my hostel and yeah, the, usually I would go to um, either the old business school uh, building uh, to study but it's super crowded today because of the rain so everyone just headed inside to inside the buildings to study so I'm back in hostel for study, to, to, to do some work before dinner so I'll probably, uh, because the rain so I don't really want to go back to campus so I'll probably order Wai Mai which is like um, the food delivery option here and it's really good because it's 
all, all online on the app and it delivers straight to the lockers right downstairs below my block. So all I, all I gotta do is just to go down like that and just collect my food. And I probably have dinner with um, some of my Singaporean friends here. So yeah, um, but in the meantime, I'll probably just catch up on, my, on some work first before, before dinner. Alright, so we're supposed to go out for Jiu-Jitsu but we just do MMA practice instead in class So I ordered Wai Mai I'm, I'm here with my roomie, Lego and just gonna watch some Jiu-Jitsu videos before we, we go for practice later So here I am at uh, doing anime practice. So uh, what I did is just uh, a little bit of jujitsu, uh, roll around a few guys. Uh, it's really good. Had me rolling uh, in quite a long while since so I worked out. Uh, body a bit achy, but all's good. All's good. So uh, it's been. Uh, it's today's no formal training. It's just uh, free and easy. So we've been doing our own own things. Uh, yeah, doing our own things, doing, uh, doing our own practices. So it's been, it's been really good. We just finished watching a, a really late night movie. Um, I honestly don't know the name, but it's the same director as your name. So it's a famous Japanese director. Uh, unfortunately, the movie was in Japanese with Chinese subtitles. So I clearly didn't understand most of it. Uh, graphics are really nice though. Uh, apparently people cried, but I don't know why they were crying. So it's time for me to go back and uh, watch it again with uh, English subtitles. All right, see ya guys. Please give us a review of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just say it like, I just don't understand like most of it. Hi guys, so I'm back from the movies and it's been a really long day. Uh, but yeah, this is basically sums up a day in my life. I'm really tired and I'm just going to get showered and change up and go and get some rest. But before I go, I really wanted to share a really nice highlight uh, from the first two weeks. So my cohort actually had a dinner together to kick, off, to kick off the start of the semester. So the class committee planned it and we, and we all travelled to a Singaporean restaurant here in Beijing and it was just such joy to be able to share um, and introduce um, Singaporean food to the rest of my cohort. Hopefully my cohort will be able to enjoy the food. But I know I myself um, really loved it because it really brought back uh, memories. I haven't been away from Singapore too long but it really um, reminds me of home. You look like super tiny compared to like the whole building. Actually, I think should we ask them? Oh my god, they No, just order, just order already. It's a very luxurious version. That's why it's blue. <laughs> they come with like fried chicken, eggs, the chili sauce. We call it sambal. It's super good. Like you have to eat it actually.
you eat with um, rice or lontong, which is kind of like compressed rice. So it's called chicken rice. So it's basically just chicken and rice. With